vlogging is hard at my boyfriend's because I never vlog when he's around, but also it's like he's always around, like we're together. So there's definitely a lot less vlogging going on in my life now, which means vlogs either might be shorter or there might be fewer of them, just like more time in between vlogs where I was like averaging one vlog a week for a very long time. Now it might be like one every two weeks or I might just post like eight minute vlogs or something. I don't know. Or I might just like manufacture content for my vlog, my vlogs, which, you know, might happen. Um, but he's out with his mother. His mother's in town and like I will see her at another point. Just not right now. Um, so I'm kind of catching up on booktube, doing some editing, maybe some reading. I don't know. I need to read Dubliners like so bad. It's due in the library in like two days. I'm, like I still have half of that book left. Like, there's no reason it should take me this long to read Dubliners. But I did start asking for it by Louise O'Neill and I, I figured out, okay, why this sounds familiar. There are two reasons. One is that Abby from Abby Mac Reads read this and said it was okay and I definitely got it from her channel at some point. Um, and the second is Louise O'Neill was the one who wrote that book called The Service Breaks, which was that Little Mermaid retelling that everyone like hated last year. <laughs> so yeah, um, not good. This is not good. But I, I'm a little bit into this book, like not even 50 pages, I don't think. And I really don't like it so far. Like I was seven pages in and I was considering like, should I just put this down and pretend that I never picked it up? But it just, it bothers me to DNF things, so I don't. Um, but yeah, so far, this is not very good at all. This is not enjoyable in the slightest, but uh, I'm hoping it gets better. I'm only like, I, I really am only like 45 pages in, so I really can't like judge it yet. Like it, it's hard to judge something from the first 45 pages because like a lot can change and I do know that a lot is going to change, it's just right now I am, I am so not down. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I'm just... I'm just, I'm, I'm hoping it'll change, but it, even if it doesn't, like, I'll probably put this down for a few days because I, I really need to read Dubliners. So I did a really fun thing, and pardon the terrible lighting in this video, this is what my boyfriend's apartment is, so this is going to be my vlogs from now on. Um, but I did a really fun thing. Since we've been moving in, um, I've been moving in, it's been weird since this is very much like his apartment and I feel like I'm kind of invading his space. Um, I finally brought something of mine to the apartment. Um, this is my new bookshelf. It is very small compared to the ones I have at my parents' house since those are like the Ikea Billy bookcases and there I have like four of them and like thousands of books. Um, this I have 50 books and yeah, like it, there's literally 50 books on it. And it's mostly just like my TBR books and just like things I'm planning to read over the next little while. But like, it makes me so happy. Like, there's something of mine in this apartment now, you know? Like, it's not just like me invading his space, but like it's starting to become my space too. And I don't know, it makes me very happy. But um, yeah, these are basically like, not everything I'll be reading. Like, there's some more books I have to get from home and like I have some books I need to get from the library and stuff, but like these are mostly unread and then some rereads and just like what I'm planning to read, like uh, I'll show you guys if I can. Um, like I have thrillers up here and then like Agatha Christie and some of uh, The Lord of the Rings, Ellen Emerson White, Faulkner, um, then like trade paperbacks. These are, this is all done by size by the way because um, it's it's a stable bookshelf, but like it doesn't feel the top shelves don't feel very sturdy. So like lighter books on the top, um, but like yeah, like the books that I hauled recently, um, the Cassandra Clara books, Long May She Read, which I need to reread, um, and then like Water for Elephants, just the books that I've hauled random stuff, um, and then if you go down, it's like hardbacks and stuff and bigger trade paperbacks. I'm sorry it's really dark, but the lighting is just terrible. But yeah, just like books I have for projects and like some books down here that didn't fit anywhere else. Um, but I'm super excited. Like it's, it's so much fun that I have a bookcase here and like 
we're planning to get more like I'll have at least like one more small one which is kind of important so, like I'll, I will have like more books but it, it really does just like it it makes a big difference to just have like that one bookcase here with like my books and like he has a bookshelf over there so it's not like there were no books here and it's not like I didn't have my books here they were just stacked places it just like it makes me so happy to have like a shelf for them now <laughs> Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that I was, I thought about showing you when I was putting it up, but I was literally just like stacking a couple of books on it. So it was not going to be a very long or involved video. It's already like put together and stuff. I just carried it in and dumped books on it. So yeah, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm really happy though. So I successfully made the first recipe in the Harry Potter cookbook. Um, I decided to make pumpkin pasties because my boyfriend really wanted them. He likes pumpkin. I hate pumpkin, but like for him, I will make him pumpkin. Um, but yeah, the recipe makes six and they turned out really good. Like he's already had one and he said it was good. And they just like, they look nice. They look the way they're supposed to look, which is like always a good sign. I'm not going to be eating any. We're going to take some to his mother. Um, and hopefully she likes pumpkin. I don't understand why anyone would, but you know, she does, maybe she does. <laughs> he certainly does. Um, we got a big can of pumpkin, so I'll probably make these again like tomorrow or Sunday. Like sometime in the next few days, I'll probably make a second batch. And like I might take some to my parents because I'm seeing my parents next week for my birthday. So. I might do that, but the entire apartment smells like pumpkin and it's really disgusting because I hate pumpkin. But that was a good that was a good first recipe and maybe we can make um pumpkin juice since we have the pumpkin. <laughs> like why not? Um he wants to make pumpkin juice too. I do not appreciate all the pumpkin flavored things, but there are a number of them in the Harry Potter cookbook. Um I also didn't go exactly by the recipe. The recipe calls for a mix of butter and shortening in the in the dough, and I used vegan butter and not no shortening at all. So hopefully the the crust looks flaky and fine, but it definitely was like softer when I was working with it than it should have been because it has a lower melting point. But I don't know, they look good, and I feel like I succeeded in something. This is the fourth thing that I've made from that Harry Potter cookbook. Um, I made, first I made the pumpkin pasties and then the pumpkin juice and then earlier today I made mulled mead which is basically just like mulled mead. You know, it's it's hot apple juice that's spiced and it was delicious. It was, uh, it's like that drink from Starbucks that you can get that's like 
the hot apple juice basically it's basically apple cider but like i don't know my boyfriend wants to make real apple cider sometime with like apples and i was like i'm not here for that i'll just make it with store-bought juice but if he's gonna do that then that's fine but it was delicious it was exactly what i wanted it to be and now we have the delicious pumpkin bread so um it's been a lot of pumpkin because we got like a big can of pumpkin because he really wanted pumpkin pasties and so we got the big they only had like a big can of pumpkin so i've just been kind of going through and making all the pumpkin recipes for him which i personally find pumpkin to be thoroughly disgusting but he likes it so pumpkin for him um i possibly overcooked the bread <laughs> uh, it is oh it's it's dark in here it called for an hour it was like cooking for an hour and i took it out after an hour and it didn't look done so i took it so I put it in for another five minutes. Now it looks kind of burnt, but like, whatever. Um, this is probably going to be the last clip of the vlog. I'm probably not going to cook any more recipes from the Harry Potter book for a while. Just because I did like four this week. I really want to make um, the treacle tart. It looks delicious. Um, I think it, we're kind of at the point where my boyfriend doesn't have many like baking stuff. Much baking utensils and things. Like he doesn't have a muffin tin, so I can't make any of the muffiny stuff. He doesn't have a candy thermometer he, like it's like i don't just have to buy the ingredients i have to buy the utensils with which to make these things so um yeah that's a thing but like it's fun i really like cooking like more baking than cooking cooking is like too imprecise for me but i really do enjoy baking so like i don't mind that i'm making things right now that are just for him to enjoy and there are definitely going to be other things in that book that are just for him like the things that are meat that like you can't replace like the corned beef sandwich um i have no desire to replace that so i can eat it with something like vegetarian but like i don't mind doing that stuff that's just for him because i do want to make my way through most of the book but like i'm not going to get near haggis or black pudding like no i'm not i'm not here for that but i haven't been reading like at all i returned dubliners to the library i didn't finish it just because i was like not in the mood to pick it up and like not just that book because like i what i really am enjoying that i keep saying that every time and then not picking it up but i really am enjoying it i just haven't been in the mood to read i'm still reading asking for it and i'm not liking it i'm reading like not much of it at all and it's just not in a reading mood which is fine um tomorrow is my birthday so uh that's probably why this is gonna be the end of the vlog just because i know i'm not gonna vlog tomorrow because i'm not gonna do anything i'm gonna sit here in my slytherin pajamas and make my boyfriend make fried mushrooms for me and we're gonna have hot dogs and we're gonna do a puzzle and we're gonna cuddle mima even though mima doesn't like to be cuddled and that's gonna be like our entire day and he got me an illustrated harry potter um which i know because he gave me hints and then i guessed it and i feel bad that i guessed it on the first try but like i don't know i'm excited for that he said he got me something else too and he's currently at the store getting me fun tasty things and i'm excited and it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun birthday and by tomorrow i mean monday because today is sunday my birthday is the 23rd and uh, it's just gonna be a fun day of nothing on wednesday i'm going out to get pizza with my parents for my birthday to celebrate um with my boyfriend and it'll be the first time they've met even though i've lived here for three months which is <laughs> gonna be uncomfortable but like hopefully fine and i don't know i'm just i'm excited for tomorrow and i'm not normally a big birthday person but it's gonna be fun to just like chill with my boyfriend all day and do nothing which is like not that different from what i normally do but <laughs> it'll be nice to just like birthday you know so i don't know not much reading happening i'm okay with that i will read eventually at some point this month hopefully i've read a few books already but i i do feel like towards this time of the year like starting in like september and going through like the middle of december i don't usually read that much and i don't know why like it doesn't make sense nothing in my life changes in the fall months it's just i i stop reading as much and i've noticed it like not every year but most years that happens just like randomly so i don't know that appears to be happening this year but i am okay with that it's just i don't know I, i'm ready for a fun day and i'm ready for the surprises that he's getting me at the store because he said he was getting at least two things and he said one of them i haven't had around him before so he doesn't know if i like it so i'm mildly concerned but <laughs> excited and yeah thank you guys for watching this vlog it's weird to have an outro because i don't normally have an outro but i hope y'all have a nice day